それでは Hello, Kasuga-san. <laughs> I must say, this place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man. How's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? Guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man! You certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Songhui speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. Oh, come on. Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I can't say it's been long. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in his place. That was my duty. I didn't figure people still did that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on! first step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm, well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. That how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing. Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurocho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were the Tojo clan was incredibly strong, and they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to off 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan, some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business. And all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, those that couldn't carry out the mission were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here, in Japan. Yes, but be that as it may, I don't recall being welcomed here. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime, and kicked out from wherever we went. We came to be called the Stray Jingon Mafia, running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? Stray Jingon Mafia ain't bad, but personally, I think Maverick sounds a hell of a lot cooler. Maverick? One that strayed from the herd. 
Maverick Jingon Mafia is a bit of a mouthful, though, isn't it? It's a little much. Yeah, I guess you're right. Stray Jingon it is. <laughs> but I will give you points for style, if nothing else. <laughs> Thanks. So, what happened to the Stray Jingon after that? Enter the 21st century, the winter of 2006. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, the stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So? What happened to the Jingon's big all-out attack? Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the Tojo clan. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the Stray Jingon Mafia. <laughs> it was a miserable sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. Wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? It would seem so. I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Hmm? Wait. Then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> you're... Uh, you're not trying to become the real Jungi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern, is it, Kasuga-san? Or am I wrong? Nah, uh, you got me there. <laughs> Farewell. Guess he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with him. No pro or anything, but I'll try. I believe I'm gonna make it through, and uh, you could find the out. Let them feast. I believe I'm Let them feast. Your blood is redder than kimchi. Offer it the flap around your guts. Check this out, guys! The 
demons are brewing up a hellish stew. Made of you, worthless humans cooked into a room. Shit posters, hot takes, all you trolls. Yeah! You little fish, you're all in tonight's main dish. Cabbage, onion, stew, sea pork ribs. None of that will satiate the beast. Drop your pound of flesh in the demon's brawl. Let them feast. Your blood is redder than kimchi. Offer it the flap around your guts. Offer it to devour it all. In the depths of your despair, the pot is dark deep in your nightmare. The demon pots, we're dining in hell. Hard in the Probably apologize to the real singer. Let's get ready to rock! Check this out, guys. There are days you'll be weak. There are days you'll be lost. There are times where you feel you want to run and hide. There are days you'll be down. And you start to wonder if the world would be better off if you died. I have those days too, but I believe, I believe I'm gonna make it through. And I won't run away, I won't die. I'm gonna level up, be the best that I can be. And I'm not gonna stop questing until I'm a hero. I'm gonna level up best that I can be. I swear that I'll become unstoppable and you'll be right at me. I've got to see this through. I can't look back until the end. Rise from rock bottom to the future I've seen in my dreams. So come on, let's go level up. No pro or anything, but I'll try. Find the words. I'll show you paradise. You better be into it. Setting off out on your own Science, Eager go. to do things your own way Sun's shining bright Science, Science, Science. Your brand new journey starts today <laughs> You've got new clothes from head to toe Don't even look like the same guy Feels like a date Except we're actually saying goodbye Beautiful. All the pictures that I could take whoa, whoa. All the gigs these videos make bam, bam. None of it replaces the you that I know But they'll be there after you go yeah. Go, 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 psycho The day we met I felt the air bam, bam. Is swirling around me in a spring go, breeze go. Under the warm skies where we spent our days 